The NFL season is well, 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 well underway. Week 11 is approaching and some teams, well, their season is over and they're already looking forward to next year's draft. While other teams, well, they got their eyes on the Super Bowl. And we know who those Super Bowl contenders are. But we want to talk about which teams are really good in the NFL. This is our top five, our bottom five NFL teams through week 10 of the NFL season. Let's discuss. All right, guys. So we got our top five, bottom five teams in the NFL. We're going to try to do this each and every week. So this one is going to be a fun, fun, fun way to look at who are the best five, who are the worst five teams in the NFL. We're going to start off with our top five teams, and we're going to be doing them in reverse order. Our number five NFL team is the Philadelphia Eagles. Everyone has been wanting to write off the Philadelphia Eagles. Nick Sirianni shaved his head. Nick Sirianni makes bad decisions. Nick Sirianni's no good. Jalen Hurts, not that great. All they do is win. And if they beat the Commanders on Thursday Night Football, everyone's going to be talking about them as the only contender, legit contender, to the Detroit Lions to make the Super Bowl out of the NFC. Number four, the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills are a team that maybe, maybe they do play the Chiefs. Not this week, but next week. A team that has a chance. Could they? Maybe. Possibly. Well, beat the Chiefs and give the Chiefs their first loss of a season, which would only put them one game back of the number one overall seed. Now, if the Chiefs win that game, it's wrapped up. You can just put that in wrapping paper and send it. Merry Christmas, Chiefs. You guys, the Super Bowl is on its way through Arrowhead. But if the Bills can beat the Chiefs, which has been their boogeyman, we might be having a very, very different discussion. My number three team in the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens. I think, like, if you're going to ask me right now, George, who is going to win the Super Bowl? Who's your Super Bowl pick? I think it's the Baltimore Ravens. They have the best player in the NFL. I didn't say best quarterback, best player, because Lamar Jackson is just a, a player. I mean, he's a quarterback too, but he does more than just play quarterback. He has been electric. He should win the MVP again. It doesn't seem like voter fatigue is going to be a thing. And Lamar Jackson is just putting up numbers in the pocket that he's never done before. I can't believe I'm saying this because every year I say it. This is the best Lamar Jackson we've seen. I say that every single year, but he just continues to get better. He reminds me of those NBA players. We, every year they're like, oh, yeah, LeBron James came back with a fadeaway jump shot this year or a new post move. That's what Lamar Jackson does at quarterback. This year, his pocket passing is the best in the NFL. My number two team is the Kansas City Chiefs. They're still really good. I know they're undefeated, but they're just not the same Kansas City Chiefs team. But they get everything needed to get done and that's all that matters is the w's you put up on the board and the chiefs have been putting up those w's they've been doing a great job putting up those w's they got that block kick because people say they're lucky no it's because they're prepared and my number one team in the nfl is the pittsburgh i'm kidding the <laughs> detroit lions this lions team is all about resilience. This Lions team is all about finding also ways to get things done. Aiden Hutchinson out for the year, no problem. Jared Goff throws five interceptions, no biggie. This Lions team is absolutely absurd. They have no holes. They're well coached. And they play really, really hard for their head coach, which I think is huge. You can tell they love the guy. So this is our top five NFL teams, the Eagles, Bills, Ravens, Chiefs, and Lions. Let's get to our bottom five teams. Look forward to the draft, guys, and we're going to do this in reverse order, so 28 through 32. My 28th team is the New Orleans Saints. I can't believe there was a point in this season where we thought the New Orleans Saints might be good. They were at a point where they were 2-0, and and we were like, oh, maybe they're like the, uh, the greatest show on turf Rams. Nah, they suck. 29 is the New York Giants, who are a dumpster fire. Daniel Jones, I would be surprised if we ever see him play quarterback for the New York Giants ever again. This might actually hurt their draft stock. Putting in someone like Drew Locke, he was going to make mistakes. I watched him for my Seattle Seahawks. But he can also do some stuff to win games. 
Uh, he's going to be playing for a chance for maybe someone to look at him and say, hey, maybe he's a starting quarterback. I don't think he is. So I think the Giants at 29 is fair. Number 30 is the Jacksonville Jaguars, who I picked to win the AFC South. Never have I been more wrong about a quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, who I still believe in. I can't quit him. And never have I been wrong about a higher in Doug Peterson. I can't believe they won a playoff game and came back from, what, I think 20-something points down at halftime. I don't get it. I don't know why this Jaguars team is so bad, but they need a whole shift. Number 31 is the Raiders. Antonio Pierce experiment, I think, is going to be coming to an end after the season. I don't think they're a good team, but then again, they just don't have a quarterback, and if you don't have a quarterback in the NFL, there's nothing you can do. And number 32, some people disagree with me, is the Tennessee Titans. The Titans are just no good. The firing of Mike Vrabel now seems like one of the worst business decisions a team has done in many years. I think they're bad. I think they're awful. And I think they should keep throwing out Will Levis out there so they can secure the number one pick. I think they still play the Jaguars either once or twice. So we'll see. Uh, don't put that on Thursday night football, Monday night football, or Sunday night football, I'm sure. I don't even know if the red zone is going to want to play that game. So our bottom five teams, once again, is 28 Saints, 29 Giants, 30 Jaguars, 31 Raiders, and 32 Titans. Our top five teams, once again, is Eagles 5, Bills 4, Ravens 3, Chiefs 2, and Lions 1. Those are our top five and our bottom five NFL teams heading into week 11. If you reach the end of this video, I thank you so much. Like and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time here on YouTube.